Trafford, what a fantastic game he had. 29 shots on goal, 11 saves he made. Fantastic, what a performance and people had their doubts, I know that. I wasn't one of them but there were people who prefer Murek in goal but it looks like Trafford could have his day again against Everton this week or next Saturday. Right, well this is the 9th of December 2023, let's talk Burnley Football Club number 115. Brighton played with a 4-2-3-1 and Burnley played with a normal 4-4-2. Your referee was Simon Hooper. On the previous game, on the 19th of February 2022, at Brighton, Burnley won 3-0. Uh, the score was with Wehorst, Brownhill and Lennon. Right, team news for today's game. Trafford, Vintinio, O'Shea, Bayer, Taylor, Alderbert, Berg, Brownhill, Goodmanson, Rodriguez and Anduni. And your substitutes were Murick, Roberts, Redman, Ekdal, Zayori, Ramsey, Tressel, Larson and Messingo. Well, Burnley did start off pretty well. They, they had their chances, uh, but in the 14th minute, the yellow card for Darren O'Shea. And then uh, Goodmanson, Odebert, Amdouni have all had their chances in the first 20 minutes of that game. Then in the 45th minute, what a fantastic goal by Odebert assisted by Rodriguez. Half time was Burnley uh, were winning 1-0. Fantastics. Now your stats for the first half. Um, even though that Burnley were pressing, Brighton still had most of the possession. Burnley had 33% possession, four shots, two on target, one corner, three fouls, while Brighton had 67% possession, 10 shots, 3 on target, 2 corners, 1 foul. In the 58th minute, Burnley substitute Ramsey replaces Goodmanson. In the 69th minute, a yellow card for Taylor. In the 72nd minute, a yellow card for Audibert. In the 77th minute, under a lot of pressure, Brighton equalised. Um, Andingra um, scored for Brighton. Um, in the 78th minute, another substitute, Redman replaces Rodriguez. And, and then the 82nd minute, Burnley substitute Ekdal replaced Anduni. And I, I'm thinking at this time, they're replacing people so they can... Um, claim that point, well-earned points, by taking away uh, their attackers and bringing in midfield and defenders. Uh, 86 minute a year car for Redmond, and then another substitute, Tressor replaces Odebert, who had a fantastic game. 1-1 the result, as we all know. The final stats for the game, Burnley had 28% possession, 6 shots, 3 on target, 1 corner and 8 fouls, while Brighton 
had 72% possession, 29 shots, 11 on target, 9 corners, 5 fouls. So you can see, if you haven't watched Match of the Day, uh, they were talking about how, how significant Trafford was to this result and that he saved Burnley from a possible defeat. I think a lot of Burnley fans were expecting a defeat, but um, a 1-1 draw is, is significantly a lot better and hopefully going into the game against Everton next Saturday, they're at least they're thinking that they can put um, put a ball in the net and uh, stop the uh, Everton attack. Right, uh, the next match, we're home to Everton on the Saturday the 16th of December and then we're away to Fulham on the 23rd of December. We're home to Liverpool on Boxing Day, 26th of December. Then we are away to Aston Villa on the 30th of December. And then we start the FA Cup third round at White Hart Lane on the 5th of January 2024. Luton are playing today. They're playing Manchester City at Luton. Um, I'm not expecting Luton to win that. Because um, Sheffield United won, which brought them up to eight points. Um, Manchester City want to try and claim that top spot before Christmas, so I think they'll be all out to win that game against Luton. But your league positions at the moment is um, Luton, 18th, played 15, won 2, drawn 3, lost 10, 9 points. Burnley played 16, won 2, drawn 2, lost 12, 8 points. And Sheffield United played 16, won 2, drawn 2, lost 12, 8 points. A match of the day was saying, if, it, if a bit of interesting facts, that Brighton have changed their players <laughs> the most times. I know that because they're in Europe and they've changed their players 67 times to make, to make different formations. Um, so the one they had out uh, on this game was pretty good and they were very, very good in attack. But uh, it looks like Brighton have got so many combinations in their play that they've changed their um, play, players 67 times the formation. Right, um, I'm very happy that we got a point. I know we should have had three if we, if we just held out. Um, I know it went into 97, 98 minutes uh, play and Trafford made some really good saved in the last two or three minutes before the end of the game but the the goal that the the Brighton equalized with was the header uh it I mean I watched it on match today the ball just skimmed the head of Taylor it was unable to just get that little bit more if it had gotten a bit more an, an inch more it had headed that away and Possibly we might have survived it and got three points, but that's all conjecture, I know. But that's it for now. I'm going to say up the Clarets. Up the Clarets. We're going to play against Everton this Saturday coming, 16th of December. Let's make it a Christmas to remember. Let's get a point or three against Everton and Sean Dyche. Okay, well that's it for now. Up the Clarets. Come on, lads, we can do this. All the best and bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.